Good day guys, Bing here. Um, previously we did this exercise, so that's day 229. And you can download this band here. So today we are going to uh, model this. Okay, so let's let's do it. So so after you download that family, so this is that family. Actually, I noticed that uh, the tiles looks uh, not right. So just the 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 one um, the one on the top should uh, cover the one on the bottom. So. What we need, we can do is we can just select this, uh, the whole thing, so and then just use the component flip. So this will flip the family. So, uh, and if you want to know how to uh, model this uh, family, you can just go to this exercise. So this is a very simple family, so uh, it's not accurate, but just for, for some concept. See? Now that's better. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to just delete this and then let's start let's start uh, to model this one. Okay, so first place one point and Let's just uh, place it on the level, so, uh, which is here. It's level one. Okay. So now, first, place place a point. Draw on work plan. Set work plan. Pick this horizontal work plan of this point. Okay. And place it on the point. So now select this point. Go up. Now we can go here. Offset. Create. Uh, parameter. Let's call it H, and uh, let's use instance. Okay, okay. So now we need to create another parameter. So this will def uh, define the the radius of this uh, roof. So click point, draw work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan. So let's just pick this one and place it on this point again. So so and move this this way so now this time the offset will be the radius let's create a r instance okay okay um actually um because this is just a mass it's a not adaptive family so i'm going to just move let's just go to the top and i'll just move everything to center with uh this uh this reference plan so in case we need to place this into a project, so this will be the center point. Okay. Uh, now, so now we have these two points, but in this roof, uh, we're going to make it a little bit curved. Okay. So, um, let me think. What should we do to make it curved? Mm. Um, Okay, we can do this. So select this point and this point and create a spline. So of course this will be a straight line and then make it reference line. And then, um, hang on, let me just turn off all the graphics settings. So I'll remove the small spline, I'll remove the sketch line and let's just turn off this background. So, okay. So now place one point and draw on work sorry draw on face and place it on this reference um, line let's just place it in on this middle point okay and then select this point and click this make point driven so this way uh, we can so you can you can adjust this point so for example i'll do it this way okay Oh, maybe let me just turn off the shadow as well. Uh, shadow, oh sorry, shadow, the shadow here. Okay, and also you can you can also do this. So select this point, use your space bar. Okay, so you can do it. So up, down, like this. You can change the 
the curve. Okay, so now um, if we we to create this roof, we need a, a vertical line here. So what I'm going to do is, is I'll just create a very little. Uh, uh, you can't use a line with, from this point to this point. Okay, I'll show you. If you do it this way, sorry, let's make it reference line. And if you do this, it will create this. Okay, so you can't do this. Let's Control Z. Now I'm going to just place a point, draw a work plan, set work plan, pick this horizontal work plan, and place it on this point. And now I'm going to just drag this up, maybe like uh, 100. Okay, and then select these two, create a spline, make it reference line, and then together with this one. So Control select this, and we can create this shape. So let, let me just check. Oh, oops, sorry. What did I do? Uh, create form and uh, where's my uh, maybe on the other screen but I don't have another screen okay so yeah, that's it so if I change to shade so now this is shade sorry hidden line shade yeah so this is the shape okay but this we won't be able to um, I'll show you uh, this is not the way we're going to to, um, I'll show you why. If we use divide surface, so looks quite nice, right? But the, the the gap between here and here, it's you know, it's the difference is very uh, it's very big. So you you can probably have a tile here, but the tile here you will need more uh, more than one, okay? So, which means we need different grid for for different part of this shape. So, instead of this, I'll just delete this one. I'll delete this surface. Surface. I'll dissolve this. So, instead of use just one, I'm going to use multiple. Okay. So, let's do this. So, play, uh, place one point, and um, oh, actually. I'm going to do it this way. So select this spline. We can use divide divide path. Okay. So divide path, and then <coughs> excuse me. Um, depending on the the size of the tile. So I guess I'm going to use maybe uh let's just use 500 maximum 500 500. Okay. So now we have this much this many point. Um, Maybe that's too many. Uh, let's just reduce the number of this because my uh, my computer is quite slow, so I don't want to wait for you know ten minutes to create this all these uh, tiles. So I'm going to reduce the the length of this line, so we will have less less tiles. So now this is okay. Uh, Actually, what I'm going to do is I'll just start this point a little bit here. So because if you start from here, so you will create a, a surface, and then when you divide surface, so there will be one point. You won't be able to place that tile with you know only three divide uh, uh, adapting points. You will need at least four. So what I'm going to do is. I'll just add another point here or move all these points this way. Okay, so uh, so let me just check the show num number. So this is one. So what I'm going to do is, is I'll just add 100. So this this the the, the, uh, the point one will start from 100 offset from here. Uh, maybe let, let me just add another 100. So okay, so. So this will be the first one. And now what I'm going to do is I'll just place point. Okay, so um, oh, maybe I, I, we can just, uh, let's just do point. So place on face and then place point on this divided 
part on the divided part and then we can select this line create a spline so let me just do tl so this is spline i'll just change the scale a little bit so let's try tl again yeah that's more reasonable so let's just create all these spline so it will be all uh, maximum maximum 500 I'm not sure how long exactly so 477 you can use the fixed distance if you want to I'm using maximum because I just want to want this uh, to stop here but if you use um, fixed distance you might have a little bit gap here so it's or it's up, up, all up to you. Okay, so select all these point uh, reference. Oh, sorry, line and make them uh, reference size. So now let's try. Um, let's select all these reference line together with this reference line and see if we can create the form. Yeah. So this is the. Um, the, the form, the face. Oops, sorry, I, I just click uh, escape. Let's do it again. Select all these and all these create form. And because I don't have that selection, the, it's on the other screen, but my other screens are not working. So I'll just click here, left click. So, okay. So now this is the surface we are going to use. And also, you will see if I, if I, uh, change this you will be able to change the shape of this okay so now select this and divide it surface so for one um, I'm not sure U or V but let's turn off one of them yes that's it so turn off the U grid so now we only have V grid now for the V grid instead of use a fixed number we can use either fixed distance or a maximum space let's just use maximum uh, spacing and i'm going to use um, uh, maybe uh, 300 okay so now you will see that's 300 here and also 300 here right so now we can so select uh, all these let me try SA, SA, not done work. Let's do this and uh, filter and only check the divided surface. Okay, and then go here. So find that. So this is the one, and then we just need to wait for a few seconds. That's it. Yeah, you will notice that it's not perfect so you will see all th those gaps but this is just um, uh, you know for uh, maybe for schematic or maybe just for render and you will probably won't notice that gap and also um, let me find wf wireframe let's find that point so yeah, just need to tab Ooh there select okay and then you, you can still still uh, adjust the shape of this roof oops yeah nice okay so that's it um yeah now i don't know how to fix those gap maybe you can just build another roof underneath so you won't see the gap or maybe you can just zoom out so see you can't see the gap anymore okay so that's it um if you have any questions please let me know and i'll see you next time bye